Okay, so in, the, in this section, now that we have things um, generally laid out, we want to start to dial this in to be a little bit more um, uh, visually correct to what we see here. So uh, as we can see right now, everything is evenly divided. These three sections are evenly divided, whereas here they're not. So th this looks more like these guys are square. They're not as, they're not as high as this section. And these two sections um, are also... Um, different sizes. So what we can do is we can actually uh, not use fill all the time. And so that's part of the process here. So as well, just to be clear, we're stretchy as well. So you'll notice that our fill system is automatically updating um, our layout. And so this means that the actual, when I go full screen, these squares and everything have become higher resolution. When I go smaller and make it smaller, they're actually going um, lower resolution. And so before we, be, we get into uh, any further into this, I, I, I want to uh, talk about how you can get into trouble here a little bit with it, if you don't understand some things about how this window size, size system works. So right now we're we're looking at the view of, of slash project one slash ohm. Ohm is the top level. And if you remember, ohm has the stuff from window turned on. So if I make this window really small, like let's say like this, and then close it, and then go instead to slash UI, which is on the inside of ohm, which by the way, does not have stuff for window on, um, and then open up the view and then scale this up, you'll see, A, it's not um, unconstrained. It's proportional. And that's because that's what the setting for that view. And as well, it's scaling it up. And it's actually just scaling up the pixels. It's not actually scaling the window. So you have to be sure that you're, you're opening the top level view of your panel. So it matters what component you're opening with. And so this is the stretchy window because it's the window itself that controls the container's size, right? So you have to be open on the same on the correct window. Same thing f goes for down here. If you're in here and you just you open this, it might look correct, but then if you scale it up, you could get confused because um, it's not doing what you might expect it to, which is scale. So the only window that's scalable is the is this window here, which is the ohm. And you can see which level you're on here by looking here, slash project one slash ohm. Okay. So the goal here right now is to get these columns more balanced as they are here. So here we want, we want these to be square. And so let's go into layout one and look at um, this section here, which is the buttons. Go to the layout page. And I can actually set a uh, fixed height instead for, for this. And that's going to give me um, always the same value. So if I scale this down to where it looks visually square, that looks good. Then no matter how high I make this window, it, that's always going to be uh, that size. So it's a fixed height. However, you notice if I stretch it this way now, we're getting stretchy buttons this way, which we don't want. So we probably want to have a fixed width for this um, column. So let's go up to our layout parameter, layout one. And let's give it a fixed width of, let's say, 200. OK, good. So and then maybe go down and make this look a little bit more square, maybe 50. OK, so now that's, that's static, so you'll see now we're not stretching here, but we are stretching the other guys because we haven't set those guys up yet. Okay, and so we can do the same thing for the knobs. The knobs should also be um, more square, and then we can keep the sliders stretchy because we don't really care how specifically how high they are. So I'll just go to section one and set its fixed height to be. Uh, let's say that looks good. Okay. So we got 170 for the height of the section one. 
we've got 50 for the height there, and we've got uh, 200 for the width. So we can pretty quickly just go over to layout number two, or sorry, layout number three, and do the same thing, because we, we know that they kind of match when we look at the ohm controller. Um, they kind of match, this section kind of matches that size, etc. So let's do the same thing. So what was it? The width of the layout was uh, 200, so fixed uh, width is 200. And then the section 1, it's fixed um, vertical, mo vertical height was 170. And section 3, the fixed height is 50. There we go. So that looks nice and clean. Okay, so finally we're left with the middle section. And the middle section, um, layout 2, we probably just want our, for now, it's not quite the same here, but we can make these all the same size. So we'll just make it 50 as well. That'll look good enough for now. We can finally adjust that later if we want. So let's go in here and make section two have a fixed height of 50. Okay, that's good enough. Um, well, except for maybe one thing, which is these two guys are buttons and that's a slider. So let's go in, take a look here. So there's two, two squares and a slider. So we can actually go fix that as well. So if we go into section two, and set the widget width. Let's set the widget to be fixed width of 50. You'll see that. Maybe these aren't the best color on blue, light blue. OK. Um, and then this would be 50 as well. So 50, fixed width, 50. OK, so now we've got a decently stretchy window. Our buttons are no longer stretching. So that button's not stretching. That's not, our knobs aren't stretching, which is good. The only thing really stretching are our sliders, which are fine to stretch, and our middle grid, which we, we might not want. So, but the point is here. It's the middle system, so or it's the middle unit, so it's kind of like the centerpiece anyway. So this that would more or less determine the size of your window, right? So like maybe we're now landing, remember I said in the beginning, it's sometimes good to just keep your window flexible and scalable. Um, and that, that's because you're kind of designing a system and trying to figure out um, what's, what it's finally gonna look like. So now maybe we're, we're arriving at a final window size. So we can actually go up to the ohm top level here and take a look and say, OK, well, I want my, my size will be, let's say, more or less, let's say, 800 by 500. And maybe that's the final size of the window. So you could, at this point, turn off uh, size from window. And what that means is from now on, when you open up the view, um, it's always going to be uh, that size. So even if I were to rescale it, it's going to squash it. You'll see it gets blurry because it's actually uh, squashing the pixels at this point. And so, but when I close the window and reopen it because um, size from window is off, it's going to be the same size as you typed in here. So you can hard code at that point. But I'm going to turn it back on because we're actually not finished. So. Um, so that concludes this section, which is, was just to get kind of get our general look um, laid out. And now we're going to tackle the more complicated section here with using anchors.